Hey, what's up guys? Average Sniper here. Welcome to another video. Every now and then I like to make a video and just talk about the current state of PUBG, the future of PUBG, uh, how many players it still has, etc. So let's jump right into this, guys. Um, I've got pulled up the, the PUBG Facebook and I've got pulled up the uh, PUBG Twitter. And what I basically want to see is I want to read some of the comments, something we've never really done before on one of these videos. I want to read some of the comments from random people and uh, see the positive ones versus the negative ones. Because uh, it seems like every time PUBG posts something, it's just a bunch of people saying how much they hate the game. That seems to be a common trend in today's gaming community. Uh, it seems like nothing can be perfect, but of course I do believe we are in a very sad state of gaming right now. We're making some great advancements in the area of gaming engines and graphics, but cheaters seem to be taking over every online multiplayer game that there is. It's getting to the point where a lot of people have messaged me and saying, hey, I actually quit playing PUBG or quit gaming altogether because of too many cheaters. And now that we have crossplay getting integrated, uh, people that were formerly safe or thought they were safe on console are now having to deal with cheaters as well. Look at the two recent Call of Duty titles and Call of Duty Warzone. Just completely overrun by cheaters that get banned in waves, but they, the players aren't protected by any type of software. So I can kind of understand uh, just because of that and because of some of the other things in the gaming world where people are coming from when they have these very poor and negative attitudes about the games they play. So let's uh, scroll through here and let's look at some of the comments. This guy is saying his account was hacked 21 days and he's asking for help. This guy says this page has near 4 million likes, so why all you customer and developer not with players, please update more fast. This guy does not have very good English. That is hard to read. That is hard to read. <laughs> uh, here's somebody else asking for something. Let's look at these comments on this next one. Let's see. Maybe I'm just trash at the game, but the new bots and solos are sometimes a bit OP. Only a bit OP. They're aim bots. They gotta fix that. This guy wants them to bring back Karakin. This guy has a comment on the new Miramar. Miramar new graphics are like washed shit. The texture of the soil is ridiculous. I actually agree with that. I was looking at, I was playing the new Miramar the other day and I noticed some of the textures were really bad. This guy wants map selection back but doesn't understand if they do bring map selection back, nobody will be able to find a match. This guy's posting a whole bunch of their <laughs> selfless promotion right here. This guy says, I still don't know why you all are complaining of your hacked or banned account. I got my account, which was hacked over three months and less than 24 hours by hacking the hackers. And then he gives out a name to try. This is just self-promotion here. Like, what is this? This guy's advertising a cheat here. Hey, PUBG all players, find no recoil. White buddy, zero recoil. No, very poor English. I don't know if he's advertising. It's so hard to read. I don't know if he's advertising his hacks or asking for them to fix it. I don't know. Man. This guy says, love this game too much. There's a positive comment right there. Whoa, this one has... 46 comments. Let's see. Let's let's look at all the comments here. For a limited time, don't waste your money on this. <laughs> so this guy is saying don't waste your money on PUBG, basically. Uh, this guy says he doesn't get the coupons when he claims them. Oh, a whole bunch more promotions here. Look at this. People just advertising their YouTube channels. This guy says he claimed it and didn't receive it. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. What other posts do we have on here? There should be more posts. Lots of non-English speakers on here. This guy says, WTF is this comment section. Pathetic. It's just a bunch of people advertising their PUBG mobile channels. 
basically. Look at this. Is this not the official PUBG page? Who is doing the moderation here? They don't even take care of their own page. All oh, this is this is a bunch of uh, skin stuff. This guy's reporting a hacker, saying unban my account. Oh my god. This this comment section is a dumpster fire. Why don't they look at all this promotion here? People just promoting their channels. Like what is this? What is going on here? I don't know. Maybe maybe their Twitter will be more cleaned up. Maybe their Twitter will be more cleaned up. Let's take a look at their Twitter. Here's the first post eight hours ago. PUBG crossover remastered. <laughs> uh, this guy says, this game is shit. I'm only level 18 and I'm playing against level 500 players who can kill me in 0.5 seconds while I'm in motion 100 meters away with the barrel M762. Sounds like a cheater to me. These people are talking about the racing mode. This guy says add intelligent NPCs. Well, they added aimbots. Wacky Jackie is in here commenting. Looks like they keep their Twitter cleaned up, but they don't keep their PUBG page cleaned up on Facebook. Your game is literally too difficult to enjoy. That's actually true. It's really hard for new people to get into PUBG, tell you that. Oh, more people promoting themselves. Yep, never mind. If you guys just made a PUBG 2, people would play again. That might be true, actually. More, more promotion here. This guy says they expect us to get hyped over garbage no one asked for. Well, I can kind of understand, you know. It seems like PUBG is putting all their focus into the new mobile game, uh, PUBG New State. Let's, let's check the Steam charts for PUBG. All right, so two minutes ago, 350,000 players, 24-hour peak, 396,000, all-time peak, 3,236,000 players. Let's look at the player increase and decrease uh, real quick for the past year. June 2020, they had 546,000 players. And in June 2021, we're down to 427,000 players. That's roughly a hundred and what is that? A hundred and twenty thousand less players than we had a year ago. That is a huge decrease, and you can see that over the Christmas break, uh, they actually gained some players, and then back in February they started losing players again at a pretty steady rate. Uh, if we look down here at the when PUBG came out. In 2017, they actually broke a record in January of 2018 and had over 3 million people as a peak concurrent, peak players, uh, which is insane. So let's see, uh, let's see Steam top 10 games. Let's see if PUBG is still in the top 10. PUBG is actually still in third place on Steam. Still has a first place Counter Strike, second place Dota 2, third place PUBG. Uh, still more players than Apex Legends on Steam, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool. So it's still up there as the third most played game on Steam, or the highest play as far as player count goes. It's in third place, um, but the game right next to it has almost twice as much. And Counter-Strike still has a huge amount of people playing, which isn't surprising. That game's been going on for years. So overall, PUBG seems to be doing pretty consistent, although it seems like every year they're losing players. So two, three years from now, who knows if we'll even be able uh, to find a match. I don't know. But it looks like all the stuff they post on uh, their PUBG Facebook and Twitter is mostly just about skins. I mean fashion shows, all kinds of stuff, like, 
Like, who cares, man? Who cares? Who cares about that stuff? I don't care about that stuff. Anyways, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. So it seems like PUBG is doing good, but I think they're kind of focusing on something else. Hopefully it's PUBG 2, although I've heard that PUBG 2 was just a rumor. Um, and I really hope the new mobile game is good, PUBG New State. If they can get rid of the cheaters, it might actually be a fun game to start playing on mobile or at least a mobile PC emulator if you're one of those guys like me that doesn't like to... That's pretty bad using his thumbs on a mobile game. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. That's the current state of PUBG. My opinion, PUBG is still doing well. Definitely has more players in other regions other than North America where I live. But overall, seems to be doing good. I think they need to do a better job on their social media pages about controlling the spam. I mean, look at all this shameless self-promotion going on right here. Um, and I think they need to focus more on the PC and console versions of PUBG instead of focusing so much on the mobile version. But I also understand that too because the mobile version makes them a lot of money. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'd love to see and I'd love to read your comments and your feedback what you think about the current state of PUBG, let me know in the comments section. Hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoy PUBG. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.